हेलो एवरी वन माई टूडेज टॉपिक इज फेट मैप कंस्ट्रक्शन इन फ्रॉक एंड चिक सो एज यू ऑल नो द मल्टी सेलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे आर फॉर्म ऑफ अ वराइटी ऑफ सेल्स एंड दे ड्राइव फ्रॉम अ सिंगल फर्टिलाइज सेल कॉल्ड जायगॉट बाय द रिपीटिक माइटोटिक डिविजन्स सो दीज सेल्स ड्यूरिंग एम्ब्रियोजेनेसिस डिवेलप इन टू various types of tissues and organs since the blastomere are more or less similar in appearance the fate or end result of each blastomere can only be ascertained by certain special devices as a result blastula can be marked into different areas each developing into a particular organ or an organ system moreover a correct interpretation of gastrulation is only possible when we have a perfect knowledge of position of presumptive germinal layers which occupy in the blastula so what is fate map it is a chart or topographical surface mapping which shows the fate of each part of an early embryo in particular a blastula is called fate map now how we can construct a fate map so the fate maps of different types of animal eggs can be constructed by following methods the first by natural marking so in natural marking the cytoplasm of fertilized eggs of some animals such as cedians uh, has natural color differences in its various reasons so on the basis of pigmentation differences four general reasons may be differentiated in egg cytoplasm of organisms example here is cythia partita here an upper so and first jo step isme aayega that is to be an upper hemisphere of clear cytoplasm represent perspective epidermal ectoderm so is called ectoplasm ectoplasm then posterior ventrally the yellow crescent area is perspective mesoderm it is called mesoplasm and tirodorsley a gray, gray crescent cytoplasm and compass two developmental prospects an upper new, neural ectoderm that is called neuroplasm and lower noto cord called cordoplasm so a vegetal area of dark gray yolky plas in the prospective endoplasm so it is called endoplasm so these two that is to be second and third point together form a belt around the egg just below the equator so the development of different parts of embryo occur is caused by the kind of cytoplasm that is contained in the zygote so the second method is construction of fate map by the artificial marking that is to be discovered by weather walked in 1925 and the method is to be natural marking 
Natural marking due to pigment differentiation of egg cytoplasm doesn't occur in other animals or if occur यदि होती है तो वो सिर्फ एम्फीबियंस में होती है सो इन ऑल ऑफ दीज केसेस सम आर्टिफिशियल मार्किंग मैथड्स हैव बीन यूज टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द फेट मैप सो वट इज हाउ वी कैन डू दिस सो द साइंटिस्ट मिस्टर वॉक्ट हैज डिस्कवर्ड दिस मैथड ही यूज वाइटल डाइज which are retained by the cells for considerable period and is no way interfere with the normal process of the development of the organism so this method consists of uh, applying a small piece of agar or cellophane cellophane it is stained with a vital dye the dye here is to be neutral red or a uh, Nile blue sulfate or Janus green. These are some of the dyes which are used, and they are uh, pressed against a chosen area of the blastula for a short period. So the dye here. So the dye <coughs> diffuse. from the piece of the agar within a few minutes into a blastomere which will retain their distinctive coloration for several days thus by making several areas simultaneously it is possible to follow the movement of gastrulation by continuous observation so the persistence of the dye make it possible to establish the ultimate location of embryo so this will enable to construct a map of prospective organ forming region by vital dye staining methods the prospective organ region map or fate map have been made for a number of vertebrate species now the next method is carbon particle marking method so this is the another method for marking cells of developing embryo here in this method applying tiny particles of carbon to the surface of the embryo carbon particles stick to the surface of the cell and they can thus be used as marker which enable the investigator to follow the movement of cells and draw up fate map now the next method is radioactive marker method here radioactive labeling of blastomere which has been successfully employed with a radioactive marker such as the uh, tri um, tritated thymidine and drafting grafting them back to their natural site or using cells of different species which have different staining properties now the next is the fate map by genetic mapping in the genetic mapping it was first to construct the map for an early drosophila embryo with a view to identify the structure in which various genes affective affecting the behavior exerted their primary effect whether within the affected organ or remote from it now the main topic here is to be first uh, before the fate map of problastula i here by explain the significance so the fate maps play very significant role in clearly understanding gastrulation but they do not imply the blastula or mosaic of area that differ from one another in their biochemical architecture or otherwise in fact they represent only a description of what particular areas are destined to become not what they are but 
ओवरऑल यदि हम इसमें चेक करते हैं तो सिग्निफिकेंस तो है कि हम गैस्ट्रोलेशन के जो रोल को अंडरस्टैंड कर सकते हैं नाउ द नेक्स्ट फेट मैप ऑफ फ्रोक ब्रास्टूला सो द फेट मैप ऑफ ब्लास्टूला ऑफ फ्रोक वाज कंस्ट्रक्टेड बाय यूजिंग द आर्टिफिशियल वाइटल डाई स्ट्रेनिंग मैथड so the different perspective areas have been identified on the surface of blastula of frog by using this method now the first here is to be prospective ectodermal area here the entire pigmented area on and around the animal pole and covering the major part of animal hemisphere which represent the prospective ectodermal area so it include prospective neural ectoderm and prospective epidermal ectoderm now the next is the prospective corda mesodermal area so the prospective corda mesodermal area it is a major part of the gray crescent on the dorsal side so it represent the prospective notochordal area which lie between ya yeah, on the either side of the prospective notochordal area and is further differentiated into two parts that is to be prospective somatic mesoderm and lateral and here the diagram which is to be explain here this one so you can check in this the prospective mesodermal area lies on the either side of the prospective notochord area and further differentiated into two areas that is to be pros uh, prospective somatic mesoderm on the lateral side in this diagram and prospective lateral plane mesoderm on the ventral and ventrolateral side somatic mesoderm is determined to form segmental muscles while the lateral plate mesoderm uh, is designed to form peritoneal layers ciliom involuntary muscles of the gut precordal mesoderm lie on the uh, dorsal side just below the prospective notochordal area so the next is to be prospective endodermal areas they occupy most of the vestigial hemisphere and is formed of non pigmented yolky membrane macromeres it is designed to form midgut liver pancreas urinary bladder and some endocrine glands now the next is the fate map of disco blastula so here the blastoderm in the disco blastula of chick here i explain the fate map of chick which has two parts area pellos uh, just a minute uh, yes area pellucida and area opaca here in this diagram you can see here the area opaca does not participate in the formation of any part of embryo it form extra embryonic membranes that is to be ectoderm blood vessels which are involved in the digestion of yolk so we can say here the fate map is represented by the area pellu cita only so the different areas here are you can see here in the diagram the anterior two third of the area pellu cita form prospective ectoderm consisting of prospective epidermis extra embryonic ectoderm a crescentic area is pro prospective neural area in the center of the area pellucida you can see here next to the neural area is the prospective notochord 
सो नियर टू द नोटोकोड एरिया इज सिचुएटेड एन एल डिफाइंड प्री कॉर्डल और द हेड मिजोडम पॉस्टीरियर एंड लेटरल टू प्री कॉर्डल मिजोडम एंड आर द प्रिजमटिव सोमेटिक मिजोडम एंड पोस्टीरियर टू दैट इज लेटरल प्लेट मिजोडम हेयर थैंक्स लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू